Morning everyone, how are we this morning? I've had a great start to the week and we're obviously back on track on what we're meant to be doing. So we're going through our plans, going through what we're going to be doing for ourselves, trying to make sure we're more accountable to ourselves with our meal planning, most importantly, shopping lists. And if you just keep on track of your shopping list, most importantly, um, and might use my fitness pal to track what you're doing, that will help you uh, keep you uh, consistently throughout the week. And then try that and see how you get on, all right? So, today, Tuesday, we're just looking at Technique Tuesday, so try to work on mobility work. So last week we did the hamstrings and the hips, now we're going to work on the shoulders, and then we can put these two together, uh, generally in your day-to-day, -day, uh, if you get tired, shoulders are getting rounded, this is what I'm particularly looking at, or your hammies are getting tight, your hips are getting tight, or lower back pain. So, this one, you just do it on the floor so it's nice and easy, you can do this at home uh, when you get up first in the morning, or if you get home from work and you feel your shoulders are tight, because you know, when we're sitting down all day, say we're at the desk and we're sitting down, because we've got a lot of sedentary jobs now, we're all sitting down in front of computers with technology, and we're all rounding so you know, doing this all day, getting really, really, really tight. You don't realise it, because it's a natural position to be in, because the body adjusts and it's in its resting state, so it uses as less energy as possibly can, so that's easy for the brain to use this muscles and it's in there and using this energy then it's harder to get your brain to think you don't have your posture and sit up all day okay so it's where he's got this core cool strength open your shoulders up so this one's on the floor uh, i do this a lot here with the members uh, it's just literally at the end of a session we do this just to get or at the start and we just try to open the shoulders up where everyone gets tight now if you if you find it difficult to touch your floor with your arms and your hands then you shouldn't be pressing above the head because then you're pressing away and then your lower back loads. Okay, so you need to be very careful. So, what we do, so what I'm going to do is on the floor, I'm, knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, hips on the floor, my back naturally arch, but what I don't want to do is when I'm doing this is push my ribs out, then I'll hope to extend the back, so I don't want to do that. So, only point at the back of the skull, just touch the floor, just tuck that chin in, so obviously. My chin and my spine obviously is in line and the hands go on the floor. Okay, so I'll smooth that a little bit. So literally as I'm cleaning the floor with my arms. So all you're gonna do is actually start with the elbows just below the shoulders. Okay, so I'm trying to pull my ribs in, I'm trying to push them out. And then from here, and you can see this, my hands are on the floor, my, uh, uh, my forearms are on the floor, elbow, and to the top of the arm. So what I'm gonna do here is actually Breathe in, and concentrate on the breathing as I breathe out. Just relax the body. And as I breathe out, I just run the arms up the floor. Now what I want to do is make sure I keep contact on that floor. If you find that my right arm is tighter, because that's the stronger arm, that's the one that gets used a lot, and it starts lifting up, I can't get the contact, just stop at that point, and then come back down. Literally just work in the range. What we don't want to do is push our arms all the way up and then just start lifting up. Because that's obviously, we don't want that when the muscles are tight. So in front of the shoulder here with the pec joints underneath the armpit, an insertion, get, that gets really, really tight. So we're just trying to open up the front here and open up the shoulders and get them moving better. So get the blood flow back into the muscles. Where they get tight and they get really, really, so they get long at the back and short at the front. There's not enough blood flow going into the muscles. Everything gets really fixed. Then we end up around the shoulders. So we just want to get the blood flow back into the muscles. We want to see, get the range and open everything up. So you breathe them out, come as high as you can. So I feel that my left a little bit this morning. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to breathe in. So you want to do this to fatigue really. So if you find you get like four or five reps and you, just, you can't do any more, just relax it. And then just literally just get the blood flow back in the muscle. And then just do it again. So repeat three to four sets. And just literally open up. So you can do this obviously against the wall, but the, to begin with, if you do it before, gravity will help hold the arms down, okay? And your back is supported by literally pulling your ribs in. And what we all want to do is push the ribs out, and then on the lower back as well, you just want to pull those ribs in, keep nice and flat, and then we can work on that range, okay? It's so really simple to do at home. Just make sure the bone point, the back of your skull is touching the floor, your, team, your chin is tucked in, neutral spine position. So quite very, very simple one to do guys. You can do that at home. Uh, you can do that if you need to do it at work. Well, like a bit strange, but you can do it when you break. 
just to open up those shoulders. So we're trying to prevent the round the shoulders. And all day when we're typing away, we do that all along the way so that we end up rounding these muscles here, very long but tight. Muscles at the front get very short. So the rest of these get weak. Okay, so we need to get that better posture. So once we get that better posture, we can move better, can't we? And we're moving better. We're not tightening traps. We're not getting headaches. And then we can lift things, move things, move better and feel more comfortable. So we're working that mobility first of all. So give that a go. Last week with the hammies as well, give that a go. We're trying to open up the hips. Get the hammies a little bit longer. Move from the hammies a little bit longer. It takes a little pressure off the lower back. Okay, so hammies and shoulders. Try it guys. Let me know how you get on. Great to do. Get the mobility back into the body. Let's get moving better. Then we can work on the strength. Have a fantastic day. And then we've got the Christmas offer running at the minute. So you can pay £43 up until the end of, uh, what was it, train up until the end of 22nd of December, come as many times as you want. And we've introduced a new yoga and Pilates fusion class on a Wednesday as well. So really looking at that mobility and core strength at the same time. So it's great for working, obviously working out what we do, the circuits and the indoor cycling. Now we're looking at obviously mobility, we're looking at strength as well for core. So we get the all round workout, which is great for you guys. So don't forget, you can pay at 43.99 now until the end of December, 20 seconds, and you can come as many times as you possibly can get your hands on it. All right, so contact us on the page, comment below, and any questions, don't feel free to ask me, all right? My name's Mike Hart, it's How About Fitness. Take care.